All right, so here I have just a basic solar cell hooked up. Uh, I have a little tape on it here just to help it hold it down a little bit, that negative side. And it's kind of hard to position it where it's receiving direct sunlight coming into the solar cell. But as you can see, I'm getting around 2.2 amps just from just setting here. And if I switch it over to the voltage right fast, we should get 0.5 volts. And that's what we calculated just a minute ago. And as you can see, I'm getting 0.53 volts. So that's checking out fine. So let's just go back to the amps since that's what a, what's affected once I break this solar cell. So again, like I said, it's hard. This should be getting 3.5 amps on this here, but again, it's kind of hard to position this. So if I move it around somewhat, you can see the amps go up somewhat. But again, it's, it's somewhat hard just to get it exactly right. But this solar cell will get 3.5 amps on its own when it's receiving direct sunlight over it. So now I'm, I'm just going to try to break this solar cell the best I can. And not really, really destroy it, but it should decrease our amps uh, somewhat here. So I'm just gonna crack off some of the sides of it and just see what happens. So I'm just gonna break off little pieces here at a time and see what happens to our amps. And while it's doing this, I'm going to check the voltage as well, just to see if it was affected. And I only have one good solar cell, which is this one, so hopefully I do this right the first time. So far, it's not really changing too much here. All right, let's just break off a little bit more. Just a little at a time. Break some off this other edge over here. And that's just because the sun has went back under a cloud right now pretty huge cloud oh it just broke a huge chunk there so I'm just gonna try to demolish this solar cell not too much but enough where it should give us a whole different reading Just break a little bit more off this side. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it like this for now, and just wait for the sun to come back up and see how much it affected it, and see if it affected our our voltage as well. All right, so now coming back to it after breaking it uh, several places, we can see now, remember this a minute ago was getting pretty close to two amps. It's barely getting over one amp now, so apparently the amps were affected by breaking it, and it, again, it's receiving direct sunlight at it. I haven't changed the angle or anything, so. And uh, let's just check the voltage to see if the voltage was affected. If, as you would think that the voltage would be affected as well, but that's not the case. I'm just going to switch this over to the voltage. We should get 0.5 volts or close to it. And as you can see, we're still getting the same exact voltage that we were getting a minute ago. So it does seem a little weird that the voltage is not affected, but that's just how it is with these solar cells. So hopefully that just sheds some light on this and makes you a believer that the voltage does stay the same if you do have a cracked solar cell and the amps is what's affected. And I hope this, this video explains some things you might have some questions about. So here we are 
finally at our destination of success and I know it's been a long destination as the video was fairly long but I really appreciate those who just stuck in there with me uh, continue to show their support and just kept me motivated throughout the whole process as believe me I had no idea or intention for this video to be this long but I am the type of person that I rather create something that's useful and that's going to address some of the common questions that most people will have than just to create something short and simple that is just practically useless. So my thoughts about the whole project, uh, I just loved every minute of it. I enjoyed the experience that I got out of it and I enjoyed the fact that I was helping others learn from my experience of building a solar panel. But next time I definitely will probably be building an aluminum solar panel because that's what most professional solar panels are made out of. And I'm not sure if I'll make a video on it, but you guys just let me know if you want me to do that or not. But I definitely want to see what some of you guys and ladies created, some of the solar panels you created. So I definitely be making a section on the forums at Solar Tech Town where you can just like upload your photos and we can just talk about it and everything. So school is about to start back pretty soon. So I definitely won't be doing any projects anytime soon. But I would love to hear what some of you guys think I should do next, whether it's solar energy related or if it's just something completely different. And remember, I am a computer engineer major and that has little or nothing to do with solar energy. So just don't think of me as just a solar guy, so it has to be something about solar. No, just think of something creative and just give me a shout and we'll just see. But um, just to conclude this, I definitely want to thank everyone again. And I want to thank those who rated my videos, uh, left comments, uh, those who have donated, and some of those who have helped spread the word about Solar Tech Town just to show their appreciation. But I, most importantly, I definitely have to just thank my mom just uh, because she's uh, been so supportive throughout the whole process. As she, when she saw what I was doing, she basically just decided to fund the whole project. So I definitely have to give my thanks to her. And again, I just want to thank everyone. And remember just to let your friends know, let others know about Solar Tech Town and just have to spread the word about it. And remember to subscribe to the videos as you just never know what I might come up with next. So. Again, thanks, and I'll see you next time.